The last regular season homestand at The Rock was indeed a Thursday night thriller, but a very one-sided affair for Jacket Nation. Gordon Central came to Rock Mart for region play in a game pushed up a day. Highlights from a big win over the Warriors right after a word from this Polk Sports Wire sponsor. This Polk Sports Wire video is brought to you by Georgia Northwestern Technical College with spring enrollment underway through the rest of the month until November 29th. If you want to look for new opportunities but need additional education to get there, then find out what offerings are available at GNTC campuses across Northwest Georgia, including right here in Polk County. Visit gntc.edu or click the link in the description to apply for the upcoming semester right now. Thanks again to Georgia Northwestern Technical College for helping make this and other news and sports coverage in Polk County available on polksportswire.com and polktoday.com. We're going to keep this intro light on this one because what else is there to say? Gordon Central is a team without a win. Rock Mart is on the streak. You know how this one is going to go. Warriors meet the buzzsaw. Gordon Central gets the kickoff, but not so much. Jaden Sibley is starting to take it out, but runs into the Rock Mart special teams who pull off a strip fumble to recover the ball and open the game. What a start for Rock Mart. First down, Jackets. Okay, now that it's Rock Mart's ball and first play for the Jackets, JoJo Haynes gets the handoff and turns on the afterburners for what should have been a touchdown, but flag on the play so much much dirty yellow laundry for the Rock Mart this season on TD plays so far, but don't worry. Next play up, and even though we are 10 extra yards back, J.D. Davis hands off to Brent Washington, and he goes in for the score. Back it's up 7-0 early. Gordon Central ball after the first TD, well back in their own territory. Jaden Jones gets the handoff, and though he's got some initial running room, Brent Washington isn't letting him get very far downfield. Jackets ball, J.D. Davis makes an option toss to Lanier McCreary, and he gets a great first down play on this one. Rock Mart is sticking to the ground game. Davis gives the handoff to Nazir Turner and look at this huge first down play. Almost a touchdown, he was ruled out at the three yard line. Next play, Jackets go to Turner again and he slips right on in for Rock Mart's second score of the night. 14 nothing Rock Mart first quarter. Jackets defense is back on the field. Brent Washington and the defensive line and linebackers get right back to Braxton Carnes for Gordon Central. Rest ruled this one an incomplete pass, not a sack, but still had to hurt, ouch. Ball handling got a little iffy on Thursday night. Warriors punting in away, Dennis Sims is waiting for it, but he misses the grab off the bounce and it gets away from him. Sims is able to recover, but is tackled behind where Rockmart hoped to start off their next series. Don't worry, didn't matter much. During the next series, Rockmart finds himself in another dangerous situation. Cam Ferguson gets the handoff and Gordon Central's defense is somehow able to catch up and punch the ball out, going for a fumble recovery, but thank goodness Nairion Cooper, I think, was able to get on top of it and still gain yardage. Woo, close call. Still on the ground, Tyshawn Johnson is given the handoff and first down, Rockmart. Johnson is down at the three first quarter. A few plays later, Johnson gets the handoff and he pushes his way past the goal line. Touchdown, Rockmark. 21 0 after the PAT. Second quarter, Gordon Central ball. Keenan Spearman under center and he's looking for something to develop on the play, but instead meets the Rockmark defense head on. Next play, Rockmark comes up big again. They force a fumble and Cam Ferguson comes up with the recovery. Rockmark ball. Good field position. Callion Thompson under center. He puts up a pass to Dennis Sims, which we were just a little too fast to get on the pan, but we did watch him score with a big one. This wasn't even his best score of the night. 28 0 after the PAT. End of Warriors next series. Punt goes off to the Jackets. Dennis Sims is waiting, and oh boy. Sims crosses to the opposite side of the field. Doesn't even really need the blocking help ahead of him, and he goes in for six. Touchdown, Jackets. 35 0 after the PAT in the second. Gordon Central gets the kickoff, and the ball back starting to put together a little drive, but Bray Braylon Jones says no more. Braxton Carnes throws up a long bomb and Jones gets the pickoff play. Gets blocking help and touchdown Jackets. Braylon even gets in the high five with Nairion going in for the score. Make that 42-0 Jackets in the first half. A little while later before the second ends, J.D. Davis under center and he goes downfield to JoJo Haynes who gets the pass but isn't able to get the touchdown play under wraps. Initially, the refs called this one first and 10 from the one but then decided it was an incomplete pass and moved to Rockmart back. Didn't matter, Rockmart continued to move downfield. J.D. Davis goes to Dennis Sims and he goes in for six. Touchdown, Jackets once again. 49-0 in the second quarter after PAT is good. Celebrate big, Jacket Nation. That's a three TD night for Dennis Sims. Okay, let's fast forward big on this one. Third quarter running clock and the younger guys get in. Javon Griffin and gets the handoff and he runs past Gordon Central and is tripped up to slide through the end zone for a touchdown. Rock Mart up 56 0 after PAT was good. Great job, Mr. Griffin. A little bit later before the third ends, Rock Mart ball and Anson High gets the handoff and he gets in for the final score of the night. Jackets up 63 0. That's nine touchdowns in this one. First team guys are on the sidelines celebrating big as the younger guys once again finish off Gordon Central without letting them get anything going for the offense. Rock Mart continues their undefeated run in 7 AA on Thursday. 
Thursday night with the 63 to nothing win. Now at 62 on the year 4 0 region. And Friday night, we'll get to see how the rest of the region works out. Let's hear from Coach Parson about how this one went for Rockmark. Had a really good week of practice. That's, that's important. And uh, I think this team is starting to understand what we can be. Uh, we're not there yet. Uh, but we, we practice hard this week. Uh, we're, we're focusing on rock mark and, and not worrying about our opponent as, as much. I mean, we worry about them and we study them and all that, but we're how good of a team we can be Monday through Thursday and let the product take care of itself on Friday. Uh, super proud of their effort, super proud of, obviously, anytime you shut a team out, that's, that's outstanding. Our kids are, are enjoying that moment. Uh, we got to continue to keep working. We got a, a two two road games ahead in the next two weeks. They're, they're far away, and uh, Bannon's going to be good, and North Murray's going to be good, which is what we want headed into the stretch and getting ready for a playoff. Jackets have now put up three shutouts in a row in region play as well, taking down Harrelson Murray and now Gordon Central without giving up a single point. Over those past three, they put up a combined 168 points on both offense, defense, and special teams. That's the standard the Jacket Nation is used to and hopes to keep up through the rest of the year as we move into the playoffs. We'll have the full scoreboard over the weekend with Cedartown at Sonoraville highlights, but for now, two quick ones. Central Carroll tore up Southeast Whitfield in the 7-4A play, putting up a 51-6 victory on Thursday night. Also heard County beat Mount Zion in a 28-10 win on the road. That's it for now. More highlights are coming. I'm Kevin, the editor. We'll be back from the sidelines over the weekend.